I'm gonna get in all sorts of trouble now. What's up machine freaks? Today is the first day that we're gonna work on this thing. This thing, as far as I can see, is a heap. I haven't dug into it that much yet, but what I have seen, I'm not too impressed with. So usually, I'm not a critic. Usually I like to point out the, mo the positive things. Look what the cat drug in. What are you doing? This is Dan the Man. Yeah. How do you, what do you think of the what do you think of the machine here? I don't know. What do you think? I'm just about to dig into it because I haven't really I haven't really checked it out too much, but what I have seen is it's not looking too promising. No? No. It's, not, as, not as much as the Grizzly? No, the Grizzly was beautiful. The Grizzly was like a top-notch machine for the price I paid. This one's kinda like wow. I think there's some potential in it. Yeah. And I appreciate you finding the deal there, Danny. Give me some give me some yeah. action. Yeah. Nice tires too. I don't think you really need to worry about t the tires. Yeah, the back ones are, are nice. The front ones are better than the Grizzly. So what year is this one? This is an 02. 02? And it did come with the paperwork unlike the Grizzly. So that's good. The, the nicest thing about the whole machine so far is probably the seat. Yeah. I think I think this is an aftermarket seat and it does feel heavy duty at least back here right yeah. here It kind of feels feels flimsy, but I'm yeah. glad that there's no tears or anything Actually now that I look at it the caliper is actually rubbing on the rim. You see that? Yeah, can you see that? Yeah, that's no good at all Are the tires backwards on this thing? Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. this one's going in the right direction Yeah, 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 you're totally right. This one's going the right direction this one's going the wrong direction. They are pulling something heavy with this too. Yeah, you see that? Yeah. I saw that too. They got the whole hitch cocked <laughs> yeah. sideways. Yeah. That's sideways, the bolt's missing here. Yeah. I haven't even dove into it yet and I'm I'm kind of worried. Why you want me to buy it off of you? <laughs> Why you want it? I didn't notice that until just now. All you need is to catch a branch and then you'll be flying over the handlebars or flying off the back. Yeah. I don't like the start button. That's the start oh, button. Man. It's supposed yeah, it's on. yeah, it's supposed to be right there. She might actually be in worse shape than your four wheeler, to tell you the I truth. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> this is how much gas was in his air filter box. <laughs> the fucker's tight. <laughs> She's more advanced than your model. That's the only thing. Like, yeah. like engine-wise and stuff, this one does beat beat yours. Yeah. But like, I think the, overall, the issues with it. Yeah, the overall issues. I think yours is better than this, to tell you the truth. So here's the plan, you guys. Danny and I have come up with an idea. I'm gonna check out everything I can possibly see that's wrong with this machine. Danny's gonna run a tally. Got the throttle, brake reservoir, kill switch. We got two missing bolts right here, so you can count that as one. This bolt is missing. The plastic's not even gonna line up with that. Are we gonna mark off this tire being backwards as one? We might yeah, as well. Let's do that, because yeah. we need to change that. Okay. Uh, freaking. Yeah, the hitch being bent, mark that. Granted, we haven't even taken the plastics off yet. And how many are we already yet? <laughs> Dude, like 10. Ten? <laughs> well, at least the light isn't broken. Okay, we got some parts, which could be a good thing and could be a bad thing. Okay, she's leaking oil. Count that as one. That might be a big one. This light doesn't work. Yeah, mark that as one, because that's going to happen real quick. And that would be fun. Fun. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, it goes right here. Oh, it's just a cap? <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, crap. What? Look at that. The frame is cracked. Like, uh, how many marks is that? Ten? I would say that's at least two. That's gonna be like an hour job. I didn't even know you could break the frame there. They totally treated this thing like crap. I don't know who wins for the worst like ownership award, the BMW owners or this thing. I mean, both of them are, are total heaps. They're gonna need some serious work, but that is ridiculous. I didn't even know you could break stuff like this. This is like quarter inch, or this is like eighth inch tubing. And that's not even like a spot you can really put a lot of weight, except for if you pile a whole bunch of people on here. They must have done something funky with this thing. That's really bad though. That's gonna take a long for- I don't know. <laughs> okay, now this is where, this is where the fuel shutoff's supposed to be, this circle right here. I don't like this color dirt, because that's oil and dirt. That's just not dirt or mud, that's, that's oil, so that's yeah. not good. Yeah, Danny, I think this is one of those machines that you just tear completely down, you take all the plastics off, 
so that way we can fix everything and we don't have a problem in the future. Because I do want to rip this thing. I do want to take it out, treat it like I stole it, which um, after I put all the parts and labor into it, I definitely wouldn't have stole it, at least price-wise. Yeah. I think it's going to be a nice little project. Oh, we got mm -hmm. seven. 17? 17. Wow. <laughs> After removing the rack, the gas tank, and a couple pieces of plastic, and some nice scores here. We got some tools. That's not completely seized up. We could probably make that work. I think I got some toggle switches. That's, those are never good. Oh, we found a socket. Is that a Craftsman? It is a Craftsman, sweet. That's like four bucks. 20 issues, but guys, Tw 20, 20, 20 of them? 20. We added a couple while uh, we were dismantling it. We got a couple nice, Spacers here. There's one. That, does that count too? Yeah, you can put a mark down for those too. So that's 21. <laughs> I ended up actually breaking one of the bolts. There's uh, two, four, six bolts that hang onto the rack. One of them I busted off. It's this one right here. Luckily, only one of them and not, you know, two or three of them. Air filter's not too bad. I mean, it is pretty dirty, but I've seen worse. Right? <laughs> Look at all of that gas. I don't know if right now is the best time to pressure wash this or like break it down a little bit more, but one thing for sure, working on dirty stuff is way more difficult than working on clean stuff. Okay, we just got done removing the battery bolts. So now we should be able to take this out. Hopefully, this isn't a bad brand. Luckily, it's not an Everstart. We'll put this on the trickle charger. The plan is, Dan, Danny came up with the plan. He's, he's making the shots, he found the deal, he's making the shots, he's calling the shots. So we're gonna remove this back plastic first. Hopefully we don't run into too many problems. I don't wanna bust off a whole bunch of bolts. That'll be no fun at all. We already busted one, hopefully we don't bust anymore, but one thing's for sure, we got a single bolt hanging on this. So maybe this actually will be pretty easy, but we will have to buy bolts in the future. Charge it up! Luckily, we only broke one bolt. We had a had a couple problems with the Phillips heads because those usually strip out. And that's not very uncommon. This is when things are going to get exciting. Well, luckily, that's some solid steel. That won't be a that won't be too difficult welding. I don't see any other cracks so far. She's a beauty. We just stopped working on the four-wheeler. We're on our way to value, and then after that, I'm gonna treat Danny to lunch. Hey, Seth, Danny knows how you feel. He owns a Dodge product as well, and his speedometer wasn't working a minute ago. Now it's working. So if you get a speeding ticket, there's no excuses. Could it be? Could it be? He sees you. I don't know if the camera can see him, but <laughs> I can see him. <laughs> hey, I need, a, I need help finding this. Yeah, yeah can you help me? Please. I need, uh, I think, five of them. Did you want to strip it out, did he? <laughs> yeah. Did he really? <laughs> no. <laughs> we did break one, though. Okay, Jake, well, thank you very much for hooking us up. You're welcome. We'll let you get back to work. All right. All right. I, I like that sweater. I do like the sweater. It's not even lying. It's, it's very, it's it's very, very Christmassy. <laughs> Jake said that he had those bolts and we looked for like five minutes straight and we couldn't find them and luckily the last drawer we looked, we found them. He did come through, which is good. Now it's time to go get something to eat. So people always give me problems about my park job. Danny, I think you beat me. Yeah. And I don't even think he tried. You are way off. And yeah. the old Dodge, in the old Dodge. <laughs> no excuses, get to driving, come on. You're my chauffeur. Home, James. Oh, Dodge. <laughs> Rush. These are those ponies. Perfect time, and Jake just pulled in. I don't know if Danny should have a license. Why? <laughs> he stops at green lights. <laughs> and he doesn't even do the speed limit. You like that rack? What is it? It's not stock, I'll tell you that. I oh, think yeah. it's just somebody just got their hands on a welder and a couple pieces of pipe and they didn't really put it in the right spot as you can see these mounts are like an inch off. I think it'd be a good uh, good one for Danny to buy. Yeah. 
Now this thing is pretty big. Some say bigger is better, some people say bigger is not better. But what I do know is, I have a couple pieces of mail here, and I'm going with the bigger one first. You have got to be kidding me. Get out of here. You have got to be kidding me. Let me let me just begin by saying I have the best fans ever. You guys are amazing. I am the one, don't wait your time, don't need a gun to get respect up on the street. This is a rear fender for my Honda. At least that's what it looks like to me. Now when I was at the post office, the woman behind the counter, her son knows me. And she mentioned that her son knows that I have a lot of followers. And I said, yep, I love all of them, and they love me. And you guys show it, as you can see. From now on, I want to say your guys' last name to give you full credit. So in the future, if you ever want to send something to me, if you don't want your last name included, either mention it or don't put it in there. Just put your last initial. Hi Dalton, my name is Joshua Thayer. I am 15. I ride a 1984 Honda Nighthawk 700. I live in a small town called Dayton, Wyoming, and I keep watching you try to fix your old fender. So I got this new one. I hope it fits. Merry Christmas. Joshua Thayer, I want to thank you very much. This really means a lot. Merry Christmas to you as well. You didn't have to do this, but because you did, I'm, and I'm going to keep your note with all my other notes. And it's already laminated. How nice is that? Once again, awesome fan mail. Thank you very much, Joshua. So we went from one extreme to another. We went from really big to really small. Get out of here. Are you freaking kidding me? I think I know what this is for, tell me if I'm wrong, but I believe this hooks up to the BMW battery, the ground wire, and then I believe this hooks up to the actual cable, and then this is like a switch, so instead of always getting a, a wrench out or a pair of vice grips, I can just undo this, just like a light switch, so this is off, on, off, on, off, on, that is incredible. You guys... You guys are amazing. I'm sorry, I can't find who sent this. Maybe you didn't send your name with it. I don't know. But I do appreciate it and I want to thank you very much. You guys are you guys are really killing it. Money shot. This is looking pretty clutch as well. You guys are incredible people. Are you kidding me? Beached your model. This is pretty sweet. This is going to be my new fan mail knife. This is what we're going to use every time now. Well, hopefully every time. Hey Dalton, since you never have this to open your fan mail, here you go. You're welcome to give me a call if your urge increases. LMAO. Enjoy. I will. I don't think I see a name here though. I don't see a name though. I, I want to give credit to everybody. You guys all deserve it. I just can't find a name. But I do want to thank you for this. From now on, we'll use it.